I've gotten to be buddies with Bourbon Moth over the last few years. We hung out enough actually that he told me I could just call him Bourbon going forward. Or even just Burbsy is what I usually go with. He asked if I could make him a set of folding stairs for a studio he's been building at his place. Which sounded like a fun project. He told me the height and the width he was thinking, and I got to work designing in SketchUp. Burbsy wanted them in between stairs and a ladder, so fairly steep, and my aim was to keep it within the width of the one inch square tubing I was using for the frame when it was folded flat against the wall. I figured to get the shape of the frames perfect, I was going to need to cut a jig. It was a big jig though, and needed two pieces of plywood, so I put in an interlocking joint on the end to lock them together. Then I could cut all the pieces. I like to keep all the tubing enclosed and not leave any open ends, which made a lot of miter cuts with weird angles. I think it's worth doing though and looks a lot cleaner. The bandsaw leaves burrs, which I cleaned up with a flat disc on the angle grinder. I thought I'd give everything a nice heavy tack, but wait to weld everything solid until I had it out of the jig and I could clamp it back down to the welding table, hoping to minimize warping. When I cut out the jigs for the frames, I also cut out a small jig for the steps. In Aspire, the dog bone fillet tool on the inside of corners is perfect for accommodating the sharp corners of something like this. I like to cut the pieces a little short, maybe like a sixteenth of an inch or so, which leaves a nice gap to fill when you weld. I've got a bunch of tabs for the hinges. I 
I left the holes a little undersized, so I could then drill them out on the drill press, which leaves a much cleaner hole. I cut a temporary spacer I could use to bolt the tabs together, which will both space them out all the same and keep them aligned and perpendicular to the step while I welded them. I set everything in place, checking all the tight tolerances between the steps, and gave everything a tack. It was time for the first fold test. It seemed like it was going to work. A couple of my small tacks broke, but that's an easy fix. It's happy with how it folded. Once I was sure it was going to work, I welded it solid. Lastly, I replaced the nuts on the hinges with nylock nuts, so I could leave them a little loose and they wouldn't come undone. I was hoping to help Burbsy install the stairs, but we were heading into combine season, so I had to leave him to it. I don't know if he has any tools or not, but I'm guessing he's probably capable, especially if I included a 30 page installation manual. Later on, I paid the Bourbon Moth Studios a visit so I could check out the finished work. What do you mean, me show you how it works? Burbsy cut the boards for the steps and finished off the metal with a really nice patina and clear coat, matching the rest of the railings and other metal fixtures in the studio. No, no death spawn. No, it doesn't have a railing, but as you're walking down, you can kind of hold on. Yeah, so it's steep enough. As long as you don't have too many burns first thing. You do gotta be careful though, closing it, yeah, that you hold on to that. I grabbed on to this the other day. Oh, it pinched it in there? Yeah, I think I really messed up my finger. <laughs> Won't do that again. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah.